Happy weekend, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Mare. This is Nightmare Bliss. I've got my coffee. I went to my P.O. box. Look what I got. I don't even know how to start this. This is the new Nomad palette. This is based on the Monteverde Cloud Forest in Costa Rica. Are you ready to see it? Because I am. There's a little seal with a tiny sloth. If you're new here, because I have a lot of new people, welcome. Hello, I am Mare, aka Nightmare Bliss. I love makeup. I love skincare. I love unboxings. I love coffee. Good coffee. Oh my god, Costa Rica. I bet they're drinking the best coffee down there. They are currently in Costa Rica, in the Monteverde Cloud Forest. Check out their Instagram stories. I'll put their Instagram below. They have been posting the greatest pictures. Baby Nomad is in the pictures. So check out their Instagram stories. And they just posted the reveal of the color story today. This picture alone, oh, this is going to be on my wall, saving this. Come walk through the clouds in Monteverde, Costa Rica, celebrating the tropical wildlife wonderland. We hope you're inspired to create colorful looks that are as vibrant as the nature of the Monteverde cloud forest. Thank you always, Felicia and Auntie. And that's Mr. Nomad to you, Nomad co-founders. So this is New Nomad X Monteverde Cloud Forest Palette, the story. A pioneer in environmental protection, Monteverde Cloud Forest is one of Costa Rica's most precious natural treasures. Consisting of separate flourishing ecosystems, the cloud forest wows visitors with abundant beauty, bounty, and biodiversity. Wonder at the lush forest with trees touching the clouds and peek at the rare creatures and flora hiding in the magical mist of Monteverde. You want colorful? Nomad is knocking it out of the park this year. Let's take this out, but cute box. Look at the little soft. Really different from them. It's a different kind of artwork, which I really like. Wow. Bosque Nubosa de Monteverde. I hope I said that right. Designed on location, trekking in the Monteverde Cloud Forest. Proud supporter of Monteverde Cloud Forest Preserve. And Nomad always picks a... Oh my god, I just noticed this. I took it out of the box and look what happened. Look, wait, it, it lines up like this and then you take it out and you can see the inside of the box through this, like a little window box thing. It's the little things for me. It's the details. I love things like that. I notice these things. I love these things. I have been getting Nomad palettes for a couple years now. <laughs> Speechless. Speechless. The orchid pressings, the hummingbird pressings. Oh my god. Here we go. We're going to zoom in and look nice and close at this. I'm going to go slow because this is just too pretty. We have to take our time with this one. We're going to go up. So there, there are 18 shades. Can you get over the colors? Now, here's the thing. It kills me. I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at it and it's so pretty that just filming it and me holding up going, it doesn't do it justice. It really doesn't. If you haven't tried Nomad, this may be the time to try Nomad. And I wouldn't even call this a rainbow palette. This green mountain two-toed sloth. We'll go through the, the shades. I'm going to swatch everything. So let's get into it. But this, if you haven't tried them yet and you can do it, this may be the palette to have in your collection. I love all the palettes this year. Ooh, this one. The deep greens, they really nailed it with everything. That purple. Anyway, let's get into this. Are you ready to see the swatches of this? And yes... I have now messed up all the pressings, but that's okay because <gasps> look at this prettiness right here. Let me zoom in on my arm. And I'm also going to drop B-roll footage in while I do the look, but look at these. These in the B-roll are going to look a lot prettier. They're not as shiny in here, but look at those blues and the greens. You can do so much with this palette, like with all the Nomad palettes. I always say that. Check this out. What I have done is I have pulled out my Chaotic Cosmetics Black Hearted Liquid Lipstick, also my favorite eye base. And yes, it is eye safe. I have these little tapes on because I wanted to do a crazy, crazy wing. And let's do a quickie, but very, very, very dramatic eye look. I'm going to put my glasses on really quick just to see. Yep, that looks pretty good to see where everything is going and also you can see kind of the black just goes right along the top of my glasses let's get into this get my beautiful little box out of the way here want to keep that and you know it's serious when i pull out my favorite my blend money brushes 
highly recommend, absolutely my favorites. The reason for this first look, I did the black base because I can't get over these amazing multi-chrome shines, these glimmers, and some of them are almost like toppers. Like Magical Mist is very topper-like. That is going to be a topper, this one right here. It's really, really, I want to say, to even the other um, River Trail and I think it's Wildlife Wonderland. A little more like toppers, great inner corner highlights, great for up here. I am going to go all out with this. But I think we're going to stick to, I think we're going to do kind of greens and blues. I'm going to use Green Vine Snake. We're just go, we're going right in, people. We're going right in with the crazy, crazy bright green. And it's just going to go up here. I'm not doing too much. I know it's really bright. I'm not doing too much with this. I want to get this here and just pat it on and blend it a little bit. This is going to be a, uh, be patient because it's going to look a little crazy until it really comes together. But as soon as I swatch these, I knew what I wanted to do with it. Don't mind if I go over the black a little bit because it's going to be covered. So that's Green Vine Snake. I think I'm going to do Resplendent Quetzal. This is kind of a matte turquoise, and I'm going to just bring this right here into it. There's a sniffy dog. Wow, the way the turquoise blends into the green. Let's zoom in. You really want to see this. The turquoise is just blending into the green. So, oh, look at that. Do I have a new favorite palette? Why do I say that every time a Nomad palette comes out? Do I have a new favorite palette? Every one of their palettes is my favorite palette. I do have a couple of brands you'll notice on this channel that I stand by and I am in love with. And Nomad I have been buying for, honestly, since I started my channel. So glad I found them. I don't even remember how I found Nomad, but I did. And I am so thankful because they are also Amazing, wonderful people worth knowing and worth supporting. That is a good thing because sometimes, you know, on the YouTube and on the Instagrams, you support people and you think they're good people and then they're like not so good people. I'm going to use this Lunar Beauty LBE7 and I'm going to just take my MAC Fix, Fix It Prep and Prime and just spritz it a little bit. Trying to decide which one of my Nomad lip glosses is going to go with this look. I don't know. I want Blue Morpho under my eyes just because it's so cool. I was going to do Glass Wings and do Real Smoky, but I think we're going to go with a little bit of Crazy Colorful here. No, I might still use that. I don't know. We'll see. I love this shade so much. Love this shade so, so so much. I'm not going to take this tape off yet. I was going to. Blue Morpho is possibly the coolest turquoisey blue shade ever. This is just such a unique color too. Oh, my tape lifted a little. I might have a little cleanup on aisle seven here. We may have a cleanup on aisle seven. Magical Mist, as I said, is more of a topper, so I'm going to take some of this. I'm going to try it on the brush, but I may have to use my finger, or I may use my Pastel Roses applicator, my little silicone applicator. I'm going to try it first like this. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And since these are more like toppers, this is why I did the black. Look at that. I really want to bring out the multi-chrome foil kind of metallic in these. That's why I did the black base. Because if you just do these without a black base, they're going to look pretty, but I really want to make them shine. Getting a little fallout here, but it's not terrible. And it's really, I, you know me, I don't play. I really load this. I really load it on. Actually, I'm going to take this off. There we go. <gasps> did the mega cat eye today. Um, I want to put a little bit shiny under here. A little bit of shine. A little bit of a different look for me, huh? I'm going to bring this under. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I'm going to have the crazy lashes. This is like going to be really extreme and really fun. And highly recommend doing 
Blue Morpho and topping it with Magical Mist if you want a really, really beautiful shine. Like so. Okay, now we're going to have all the fun. We are going to take these shades, Hanging Bridges and Cloud Canopy, and that is going to go over the black. So I'm going to start with Cloud Canopy first, and that's going to go on my lid. And I am loading it. I am really getting into this palette. I am loading it on my silicone applicator from the Pastel Roses UK. I love this thing. You can really see the multi-chrome in that, the, the changing color in that. That's why we did a black base. And I'm going to pat it on. Pat, 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 pat. I'm going to try it with this first, but I might go on with my finger, but I really want to load it on here. Also, I love the tape shape of this applicator because see how it goes right with the curve of this. Um, when I talked to Nomad and DMs, they said they love that the depth that I get to looks with their shades because everybody, you know, I think everybody sees bright colors and they're like, oh, that's pretty. Look at all the crazy bright colors. And then people say, well, maybe I want to do something really dark or smoky or dramatic. And you see a palette like this and you're like, how am I going to do that with this? This is how you do that with this. You can take almost any palette and make it super dramatic and smoky and crazy if you use a black base and your finger or a silicone applicator like this, which I love this one. This is really dramatic for a, a mid to high 80s degree sunny day in the Poconos, but I don't care. Jeremy and I are going out and my husband is still sleeping. We had a little bonfire last night and my husband enjoyed wine. He enjoyed some whiskey. He enjoyed some brandy. And now he is enjoying sleeping in until like 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. I will not wake him up because he is the hardest working man in the world and he deserves to sleep. So we're letting him sleep. But I did go to my P.O. box and I told Jeremy, Jeremy's visiting and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I'm sorry, not sorry. I need to get into this and play with this palette. And he is very patiently waiting in the other room to do something with me. So now I'm taking Hanging Bridges. I'm going to try on the brush first again. I think I can get it on the... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's going to be really cool. And that is going to go here. I'm going to press it on and overlap it. This takes a little bit of care because I don't want to smudge the black. I want to keep this wing. So I'm trying to stay in the lines, as it were. I can smudge it out a little bit at the top. It's going to blend it out a little bit at the top here to soften it, but not much. Because I really want to keep this kind of dramatic thing I have going on. There we go. Ooh, but we're not done. <laughs> i got to do this side. Hold on. Let's do this side, and then I am going to just keep layering all these foils over this black because it looks so cool. When you're doing this too, if you're doing a black base like this and adding these, and building up, don't drag the shadow. Press, 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 pat, pat, pat. Don't drag it. I just dragged it and I dragged it because I wanted to show you, but try not to drag it because then you'll smudge it. And also you're not getting, you're kind of spreading the pigment all out. I really want to like build it up on here as much as I can. And a little blend at the top again, just really lightly. That says Monteverde Cloud Forest to me. How about you? Well, the nomads would know because they are there now. So I'm going to take River Trail, which is one of the ones that I said, these two right here that are more very light, very topper. I want to put River Trail here. I actually should have done that. <laughs> okay, River Trail in the inner corner because I want more blue. A little more blue. Oh, yeah, that's better. All right. Now, we're going to take some River Trail and go right in the center here. Uh, this may be a job for my finger. And do I want to do... Oh, you know what? I'm going to do Wildlife Wonderland right here. So I have that halo. Why is my camera way down there? There we go. So I have more of the halo thing going on here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. 
exactly what I wanted. And middle of this one. Wow. Look at this. And I think I'm just going to put a little bit of, I want a little bit more green under my eyes. I like the blue, but I just want to add a little bit of sparkly green under there. Just right at the corner here. Taking a little bit of Wildlife Wonderland and River Trail here, here. That little bit of green at the corner just really, there we go, like that. See the that little, I just did that. Little one here, like so. Take a little bit of River Trail and I want to bring it right through here to just brighten up this. Did I tell you that this was going to be a crazy, crazy look? It's a crazy look, and I love it. Okay, so there's that so far. Let me do a waterline and throw my lashes on, and then we will review. I'm smudging my... Oh, no! I'm smudging my swatches. Let me finish up and surprise you with a lip shade, and I will be right Are you ready to see this finished look? I'm very excited about this. My first look with the Bosque Nubosu de Monte Verde palette from Nomad. Here it is. Ta-da! Looking like a colorful, colorful bird from the Costa Rican cloud forest, I hope. That's why I put my feathers in. By the way, this is a hair clip that I made years and years ago, and I thought it was perfect for this color story, since I am not wearing the colors that are in this, but this is inspiring my next look with this palette. So make sure you come back for that. And let's put the glasses on. What do we think? What do we think? I think I love it. I went with a more brownish kind of based lip. This is, oh, where is it? I put it away, and now I don't have it. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? There it is. Villainy. <laughs> Notoriously morbid. Villainy. And I topped it with a little bit of Fête de Provence gloss just right in the middle here. That gold from the last release from Nomad, the Fête de Provence collection. This is the Fête de Provence lip gloss that I just put right in the center here and here. And Villainy by Notoriously Morbid. I wanted to bring out a little bit of the depth and kind of inspired by this sloth shade here that had the little sloth in it called Two-Toed Sloth, even though I didn't use that shade this time. So what do we think? Do we love it? Do we love it? Do we see all the multi-chrome going on, all the shiftiness, all the sparkle? I freaking love this palette. What's not to love, right? This is today's look and my first look of, I'm sure, many with this palette. Take it all in. Take it all in. Take it all in. And thank you for watching, and make sure you follow Nomad on Instagram. This is launching Tuesday, August 23rd, coming up in a few days, at around 12.01 a.m. EST, late evening on the 22nd for the West Coast, North America, and early morning on the 23rd for Europe. Did you catch all that? I will put it below. I will copy and paste it below. Again, this is the... Bosque Nuboso de Monteverde, Monteverde Cloud Forest in Costa Rica inspired palette, new from Nomad, coming out on the 23rd. And I'm just going to read you this really quick so you know what this is again. 12 flourishing mats and 6 luminescent shimmers inspired by a one-of-a-kind wildlife wonderland in Monteverde Cloud Forest. Thank you so much, Nomad, for sending this to me. I love it. I cannot wait to do more looks with this. I have to just go crazy playing with all of my Nomad palettes soon. Jeremy's here visiting, so we're going to go out and enjoy the day. I thank my friend Jeremy for being very patient while I play with this palette and do all this for you, but I'm just so excited about it. I wanted to get this out there right away. Also, since it's going up for sale, launching on Tuesday, I wanted you to see this. I will try and do another one or two looks with this before the launch on Tuesday. They will be on my Instagram. Instagram? Instagram, they will be in my stories, so go follow me there at Nightmare Bliss, but there is links below in my description box. Also, Nomad site will be there and their Instagram, so check all that out. 
And thank you for watching. I can't wait to do my next look. And can you guess what it's going to be? Can you guess? Hint. Thanks for watching. Thank you again, Nomad. I love this. I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful, amazing time in Costa Rica. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.